Okay, this is Avalon uh, Nano OS 3, uh, scheduled to run at about 6 terahashes per second. Um, without any modifications, I get closer to 6.5. Um, this is my rig that, proof of concept anyway, to see if we can overclock this thing. Um, and yeah, a little bit. Um, if it's sustainable, that, you know, over time will be quite a bit. Uh, especially in my case, I got four of these things running. Um, this proof of concept is just pulling off of two. Uh, you'll see behind it there's an ice pack, which is not a permanent solution, but that's forcing the air to be cold that's coming in. And then up here in the front, I got this box with a big old fan pulling the air out. Might be more efficient to have the air push from behind, uh, but this was just a really easy setup just to see if this might possibly work. Uh, the fan's currently connected to a little uh, lamp battery, six volt battery, whatever you call these things. Uh, but if this does work out, this will just be a permanent power supply idea. Um, so that's what we got, um, and it's working. And this right now is, is working about the same for two. Look behind her, there's another guy hiding right down there. Uh, but yeah, and then if you can see the watts, 134. Eh, not bad. Uh, it's ready to go up to 140, so we're under that, which I'll take as a bit of a win. Um, and that's it. That's pretty basic. No taking anything apart. I did, I did take off the uh, the magnetic filters. Um, I did. No need for that, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, next um, I'm gonna see what happens if we can force the air from behind through it. And then, um, just because of the time of year in my location, it gets awfully cold at night. So I may try to figure out a rig where I can stick these things halfway out the window to suck in cold air from the outside and then have the fan either in front or behind to force that cold air through. Um, yeah, that's that. Anyway, Rogu says hi.